This box is heavy. We have got to New Bond Street. Here are the shoes that you love to hate. Hello and good morning. I hope you are doing well. I've just come out of the shower and you are currently entering into my closet that continually changes and will continue to change. As you can see, we have an open door system, shoes on display at the moment, and I'm kind of in a higgle piggle about what I want to do at the moment when it comes to my closet. I'm kind of at a higgle piggle about what I want to do with my life at the moment. But I don't think that's a new thing. I think that's literally me um on a regular basis like what am i doing with my life is what i normally end up saying on here but hello and welcome to my closet and today's video is going to be a vlog i am really excited because i am about to where am i what am i doing i am going to be buying oh okay before we get into what i'm going to be buying i want to talk about <laughs> a little thing that i've realized i've been doing of late right now i am um you know changing body shapes and so i've noticed that i have really liked buying stuff that's a little bit expensive because i've, I've been saving money because i've not been buying as many other just little purchases here and there because i can't fit into anything so i'm just like well, i'm not gonna bother buying anything because i'm fat not fat i'm pregnant um so i haven't been buying like little things or anything for myself at all um but then I've been making kind of big, grander investment purchases. And I'm gonna show you right here, right now, I have this space here for a pair of shoes that I'm probably gonna show you guys shortly that you're either gonna love or hate. I showed them on Instagram. A lot of people hated them. A lot of people hated them. I'm like, don't be a hater, be a celebrator. Um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna probably sit down and show you those. But today I'm also going to buy um, a new bag that I really, really wanted. Um, I'm going off to Chanel. I saw this bag on a friend of mine and I was just like, I had to have it, have it. And it was like these alarm bells in my head, like must have bag, must have bag. I'm like, what is going on? So I'm gonna bring you shopping with me and then I will share with you some of the purchases that like, if you know what, if you're not into things that are a little bit more expensive, if you are trying to be on a shopping ban right now, don't watch, don't watch the video, don't watch this video because it's about to be one that is, is gonna get your like, is gonna get you salivating if you're someone who is into like nice and lovely purchases. But I wanna get ready for the day. Braids are in, thank you for everyone who likes my braids. Scrunchy is actually life as well because I don't really like wearing the hair down. It feels a little bit heavy. It feels a little bit like I've got a pee head. Look, let me show you. Just feel like, I don't really know like what to do with the hair down. But up, I feel like a goddess, so. There we go. Bun is up, hair is ready to go. I'm starting off with my moisturizer. I'm using my day cream, my Elemis. This is my dynamic resurfacing day cream, SPF. Love, love, love this stuff. So before I go shopping, I feel like I might as well just update you with my life and what's been going on. Um, as you know, I am due in like 10 weeks from now. And I feel like a crazy woman who all of a sudden needs to do absolutely everything all at one time. I'm going to do a series. I'm going to call it Nesting with Patricia or something like that, um, where I bring you guys on my journey of basically redecorating the whole house. And if you've seen it, uh, see my stories, you'll know that I'm doing that. <sighs> it's been fun times not really so we are living on a building site i'm going on a holiday i haven't bought any clothes for holiday oh no another shop <laughs> and then we have the panic like it's like what do i wear but yeah so currently demolishing the house michael's doing some molding on the walls he's been he's been an absolute soldier doing everything that i've requested He's like, yes, dar yes, darling. For any men out there, if your wife is pregnant, what yes, darling is the answer. So I'm watching this now and I just was going on a fair bit about my life right about now, but it's fine. I can update you at another point in time. Instead, 
let me get glam. So I am ready for the day. Um, glam on, all blacked out. I wasn't actually gonna wear this. I was gonna wear another outfit, but I decided to put this one on. I love a racer vest. I find it very flattering, but what we do have is certain boobage spilling out of the side, but I can't do anything about the boobs. I cannot. And then I have to show you these. These sexy leather panties. Sexy leather panties. They're actually not um, leather. They are pleather. Maternity trousers that I actually really like the fit of. Very comfortable. Then I'm gonna pair it with this jacket. And then this baggy. So I'm ready to go shopping. It's like a workout, basically. <laughs> I'm not gonna get lie, there was a time where I used to really feel like I had to be perfect, be dressed up if I was gonna go shopping in a high-end store because honestly I felt a little bit like I didn't deserve to be there and I would be worried about a sales associate like giving me that kind of like why are you here madame look like that kind of snobby look and I feel like that does still happen and there are some sales associates who are who are far too gassed or now you're not even buying the items in the store relax yourself um but I really feel that's changed a lot and I think that's changed a lot because nowadays you cannot judge anybody by what they look like on the outside and don't let anybody judge you by how you look on the outside and I can walk up in there in some sweatshoots and some 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 jogging bottoms a t-shirt they can have holes in it if I want to because I know what I've got in my pocket and I think I put take my hat off to sales associates who are not judgy and serve every single customer really really well I am not bothered about being dressed up when I go shopping unless I really want to be dressed up when I go shopping and I'll say to whenever you guys I'm eating sweets right now. Don't feel any way of going into a designer store or a fancy store or a high on store looking and dressing the way you want to, okay? Don't be sheepish. Don't be calm. Don't be sheepish. Don't be embarrassed. You deserve to be there. And even if you don't, even if you're window shopping, that's your business. Right, I'm going now. We have got to New Bond Street, which always makes me feel fancy. For the whole of my life that I lived in London, I never ever came to New Bond Street. Did you ever come to New Bond Street when you were younger? No. Well, with what money? With what money? What, what money? <laughs> you we... go to Top Shop. Yeah, that was it. Top Shop. New look. Yeah, Top Shop, New Look. That and was. Primark, and that's yeah. it. I'm still gonna go to Primark. What I'm doing now is I'm liking accessories. Once I'm done with being pregnant, I think I'm gonna go wild. I think I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna try to not go wild, but I think I'll probably go wild. I think I will go wild. <laughs> This dress. This looks so Christmassy. I could wear this now. Uh, okay, I would need the money, but yeah. <laughs> I'd need the dollars to be able to wear it now. So the bag I want is this one, but it's in black and navy. I really hope they've got it in stock. I love it. Thank you. She treated herself to the last bag. Um, it was the exact one that I wanted. I like to be specific about what I'm gonna buy so I don't have random impulse purchases. So shout out to Tamara for making me want that back. The girls are about to have a conversation. I was like, oh, let me whip out the camera. I was asking <laughs> if you could only wear one outfit for the rest of your life, for every occasion you've ever attended, what would it be? As in the outfit you already have right now, in this moment in time, or like... No, it could be the outfit of your dreams of, if you oh. want to. I would wear something sequined. <laughs> wow. Se to every occasion. No, I would wear, yeah. Very I think so, because like, shine. Wow. <laughs> I would wear a blazer, preferably a Balmain, 
um, with a t-shirt <laughs> and some kind of pant, not a jean. Why not a jean? A leather no, pant. Definitely, no, not leather, wow. Straight <laughs> to breathe. A, a pant, a figure hugging pant and like a shoe boot. That way you're never too dressed up or too dressed down. You can take the blazer off if you want to be casual. You can take the t-shirt off and everything else off if you want to be, just you know, a bit blazer. out there. What, just wear a blazer and bra? Yes. Oh, yeah. Casual with your footwear and dressed up at the same time. Why are you so practical? Irini? Me. I'm boring, I just said black leggings and a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> black leggings and a t-shirt. Well, if mean, the event is a wedding, then she's wearing a <laughs> dress. I can't wear yeah. a belly there here for the rest of my life. Char, what would you wear? Um, I said something like this. I like this, oh, yeah, this, this is nice. cute. Yeah. But well, I'm going to change my, my jeans because okay. like, it's been hurting me. Okay. <laughs> so, like, that, that yeah. Be, yeah. Okay. Um, but with heels? Oh, no, you're a trainer. Do you know what? I think with the trainers. shirt then. With shirt, yes. trousers, Another blazer. trainers. And do you know what? Because you've got the shirt on, it looks smart. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah, it. yeah. And you can tie it yeah, up yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, that's so true. Some bits. So my sequin dress is probably not a... No, no, you've, you've had your shirt. Oh, 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 okay. Well, I should have thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> I should have thought about it. I would it. just wear a bodycon dress. Well, well, well yeah, yes, 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 of course. Of course that's it. Enough. No games for play. A jacket? A leather jacket. Okay. A okay. black leather jacket. Okay. Okay. And a bodycon dress. Mm. I need to start again. I need to start again. Oh. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll be the sequin girl. Okay. I'm <laughs> just shouting. The sequin dress. Crying. Picking up the kids. Oops. <laughs> Scratching their face. A sequin. Breastfeeding in a sequin dress. Oh Baby's <laughs> eye gets a sequin yeah. stuck in. Doctor's oh, appointment. A sequin dress. A sequin oh, right. dress. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Me. Sequin gown. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Where would you wear your sequin dress to? <laughs> So it's eight o'clock, we're still here. Christmas is coming and we're quite busy. So shout out to you guys for putting in the hours. Oh, wow, gratitude. <laughs> gratitude. Thank you, Christmas. Amina's making us go out again because all Amina likes to do is party. <laughs> all Amina knows is party. So oh, there's this event, you know. There's a, I don't know why Amina's never not tired. Amina's never not tired. I'm always tired. So true, you know, really. <laughs> never, she's never not tired. So we have left the office now, heading over to the party. So it's such a vibe. We got wax, we got wax. We got Amber on a new collection, fine jeans. Yeah. Why am I doing this? We got Amber for having us down here. Thank you, Mama. Hold us to my house. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. At the end of the night, and I've unfortunately ended my night with mcdonald on the train why i don't know i just like getting the train I'm very comfortable on the train and two i do really like mcdonald's at the moment i'm not gonna lie okay i know i shouldn't but so good so i am back home right now by the way this is my la perla dressing gown potentially the most luxurious well-fitting dressing gown i've ever worn in my bloody life i have to tell you that right about now because i feel like a damn wonderful queen and it is customized but that's not what i wanted to tell you what i wanted to show you was my husband at work oh yeah we like a man with the tools this is how to woo your lady fellas <laughs> this is how we get down. bring an axe into the bedroom you want to spice up your love life? This is how we get down. It's coming up to midnight and Michael is soaring on the mitre saw. He's primed the wood for our, what's it called? We're having molding. beading, our molding done on the walls. Um, he's um, primed the wood and he's basically cutting the lengths. Um, we, we're going to do it tomorrow. I'm doing a full blown DIY video or like bedroom transformation video. So hopefully you should see that soon. Did you just cut yourself? Yeah, just a little bit. Only a bit of blood. Definitely you'll be bleeding tomorrow. It's actually making me laugh, like the fact that he's like doing that now. Babe, put the saw away. Let me do one more cut. All right, babe, that's enough. 
okay i'm going to call it a night and i will go and take my makeup off skincare routine do not let it slip hello hello how are you doing she's got a smile on her face because i've actually had a really nice weekend um i've been wanting to be stressed out because ish in my house is not done but do you know what we take a deep breath and we um we survive we make it i'm a survivor i'm a survivor um i'm actually going to probably do like an actual um house tour um no like before and after i think i want to do a renovation series if you guys want to see that let me know but i've been really efficient meal prepped for the week for the entire family hello done that tonight i'll do baba's hair i'll do her braids um the rest of my house is looking kind of crazy i think i've shared with this with you but we are doing renovations oh ooh, there's a light change and it's not quite go not that it's not quite going to plan but we're not where we want to be with stuff swatches on the wall looking good still don't have an actual door going on still don't have this room finished but in all honesty it's moving and you know what? i can't even be mad. paneling has been done swatching colors this is getting painted this week a little bit of a feature wall in the bedroom and i feel like this makes the room look so much bigger honestly if you can get your man who do ish for you i put this on my instagram and i said that my love language if you know about love languages let me know my love language is acts of service and just having him do that like made me be such like a happy woman of late i've been really happy all weekend and it's just because he's done some diy in the house and probably because i bought this lovely bag which i am going to at some point in time sit down and show you in this vlog but it's been a really productive weekend and i'm ready for the week ahead so what i will say is that not everything is going to plan but you know what for some reason i'm not letting it get to me i'm feeling good i'm feeling great right okay let me oh my bag's here my bag is here darlings let's go upstairs let's go and unbox these goodies what would you like lovely juice in my lunch bag currently hiding chocolates away from my daughter because i have a secret stash of chocolates but she's not allowed any of them because hashtag parents steal chocolates um this is only the smallest unboxing because as i mentioned i haven't been buying that much stuff besides i finally got into i succumbed to buying maternity wear but this is probably adding to one of the most expensive pieces of clothing i have in my wardrobe of all time and it's weird because normally if i'm going to buy a really expensive piece of clothing it's because it's like a birthday piece or it's sequined you guys saw that video where i talked about like how's i wasted my money this is not that expensive but i saw this jumper dress thing it's from low and this is not maternity but the style and the fit of it is absolutely stunning like stunning and do you know what i saw it and i was like this is going to be perfect and i was like this is out of my price range for a jumper like no and then i was like but this is a classic this is an amazing piece of art and then it sold out and then i kept getting the ads these people are out here they're really following me and then the ad came again and there was one last item in my size and I just knew like it was meant to be for me and I do not regret it. I have to show you, oh shall I, I'll quickly show you what it looks like on. So this is the top. This top is not specifically a maternity top but I feel like it would just fit, it fits so well as a maternity top and then I can wear it afterwards as well. I love this like kind of clear top section and then this panel down here and i'm not gonna lie this will be an investment piece into my wardrobe but let me show you it and this is what it looks like right here like i'm just in love like looking at it i can tell it's really nice 
and Christmas and party season is here, I feel like I know I'm gonna wear something like this with a pair of boots and that, you know what, it's worth it. It's really worth it. I feel really comfortable and happy wearing this. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. Would you or wouldn't you? Oh, you know what, there's some pieces in your closet and that are like, this is an all round investment. And I have a feeling that I'll wear this now while I'm pregnant and then I'll wear it when I'm not pregnant and I'll remember that I wore this while I was pregnant and it'll be like the one piece of pregnancy clothing that I have a good memory about. Oh, she's in love. I love it. I love this. Okay, clearly I'm convinced that I'm in love. Okay, now here are the shoes that you love to hate. You know, I did a video on fashion trends I hate. I don't know if I put it out. I think I might put it out later. And I kept talking about how much I hated square shoes because I was like, you know what, you know me, you know me I'm sensitive when it comes to my feet, they're massive. And then um, for some reason, the more you see a style, the more you start to like it. And then you see the style in person and then you're like, oh my God, these are amazing. And it is the Bottega Veneta square sandals. Now they come out in lots of different styles. There's the quilted style, there's the strappy style, and there's also the woven style. And so the newer version is the woven style. And there's a lovely girl, she's got a page called Classless, where she can source like all the actual designer stuff. She gets it early, or if it's been sold out, she's able to get the stock in. And she showed these on her page, and within an instant, I got them. And I posted to people that I got them. And I got so many people messaging me like, those shoes are so ugly. Boop! Right? I know they look a little bit like a platypus bill. I know. But do you know what? With the girl who suffers with long feet, I've got a long feet issue, okay? My feet are really long. These have been so flattering and they're the most comfortable sandal heels I have ever owned. If you don't like them, to be honest, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I paid too much money for these. I think they're really, really nice. And then there was a picture of Rihanna wearing them. And I was like, see, you're going to love them. But these are so comfortable and they look really good on. I'll show you now. Someone's going to hate them. I know someone's going to hate them. But I love them on. They are so comfortable. And I actually feel like they make my feet look smaller, like less long because it's so wide. And then the piece de la resistance that you've been wanting to look at. You know, you're my bad habit, baby, you're mine. I genuinely feel like Chanel might be my favourite brand when it comes to a designer brand. And as you can see, there are a few Chanel boxes in the closet because, let's, let's get her out. This box is heavy. Woo! This box is hell heavy. I'm not gonna lie, Chanel is the one designer brand that I wear over and over and over again. And I use the items consistently. And I've said this to you guys before, like I've regretted some other designer purchases and stuff. I've regretted them, right? But I've never regretted any Chanel purchase I have ever made. They go up in value. They're really practical. You can wear them every single day and they work really, really well and they stay alive really, really well. Okay, let, let, let's get in. I've already opened this up, but it still feels so nice to be like, oh my God. Open up a new box, a new box. And you know what? I love treating myself. I love treating myself, that's okay. Um, this right here has got autumn, autumn winter written all over it. Hello. Oh my, oh my God. I think it looks even better on camera. Gosh, I'm in love. I'm in, I am in love. Even I feel like the camera makes it look even better. Um, it's a na it's a navy and black bag. So it isn't a black bag. I've got so many black bags, and it is actually made of like the tartan. So it's like wool and it's knitted and it's fabric. Can you guys tell? Oh, and it's massive, 
massive 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 it's really really big you can fit like a laptop and stuff in it which is why i liked it i feel like this is like the most extra af baby bag of all time like put a few nappies put a few wipes in there that's what she told herself this is gonna be a baby bag <laughs> oh my i'm just in love like even and sometimes you know when you buy something you bring it home you're like mm, got regret i have no regrets about this bag like not a regret whatsoever it's just so gorgeous just so gorgeous blown away and i don't think i don't come up here regularly and be like oh look i've got some designer bags not really it's not really me but some days there's some expensive stuff you like and you want to share with your girlfriend like girl look at my bag so i've got you this is what i've got if you're thinking about christmas presents and you want to send this to your man be like get me this bag just send it to him okay okay um and the hardware i love so it's the kind of brushed gold it's not the bright gold i hate i hate bright gold it's more like a bronzy dirty gold as well as the gun metal so you've got two different color metals i'll show you it on here so it can be worn like this because there's a short short handle on it but there's also a long handle so it can be worn like that as well like look at it look at it wow just wow wow sorry guys i rarely do that i know i rarely do that because that means that i'm clearly very excited and i wanted to do a little unboxing for you guys but yeah that's what i bought recently expensive things you might hate or you might absolutely love um i'm just going to chill out the rest of the evening have a little tidy up get ready for the week ahead and prep for this vacay so if you guys want to see more vlogs i'm gonna try and vlog weekly i say this every time let me just keep my mouth closed because i don't know how consistent i am with it but we're gonna try and do that and then if you guys also want to see the home renovation situation we can also do that as well but i think i'm done i think i've showed enough <laughs> and i will catch you all later goodbye